Hi, my name is Evan, and today we're going to talk about Git Flow. Um, Git Flow is a model that some people use uh, to work with Git. And so uh, there are four um, branches that are part of this model. The first one is master. The second one is the hotfix uh, branch. And develop is the third. And feature is the fourth. Um, and essentially, uh, I want to define all four of these branches. Uh, the first one is a master branch. And the master branch is essentially a branch that you never really commit to directly. It's what eventually ends up being the candidate for release and to be deployed. And um, a hotfix is in those situations where you need to make a really quick fix uh, to the production, but you don't want to go through all the other steps. You just want to do like a really quick hot fix, that's why it's called that way. Uh, for example, you have a, C a CSS border that was 34 pixels instead of 35, and what you would do is you would use a hot fix. I'll show you how to use it later. Uh, the next branch is the developer branch, which, uh, which is essentially a mirror of the master branch. And the way you could think about the, uh, the, way you could think about the developer branch, it's a, an integrator branch where everything that's going on in your code could be integrated to this branch, and eventually it becomes qualified to be part of the master branch. And the feature branch is really what you as a developer were, uh, are really gonna be working on most of the time. If you're working on Jira and you have a, a feature, uh, usually what you do is uh, uh, you name the, the feature branch, uh, that number or the title of that feature, and then uh, you get to work on it that way. Um, so the hotfix branch, the way that one works. Um, like I said, if you have like a situation where you have a CSS, border that you need to quickly fix, uh, what you do is you, you make the change, and once you're done with the change, um, it double commits to both the master branch and the developer branch. And this way, developers who are working on integrating to the developer's branch are always up to date and into, uh, up to sync with what's going on in the master branch and with what you just did. Um, it's a very important aspect of the hotfix branch. Um, and like I said, the developer branch, you essentially integrate from the hotfix branch and the feature branch. And in this case, uh, if we're working on a feature, we uh, integrate or merge into the uh, developer's branch. And so it looks something like this. I mean, eventually this is going to look like, <laughs> like a subway map, but it's pretty easy to understand. Um, um, so once you merge into uh, the developer's branch uh, as a feature, uh, it eventually could also be uh, merged into the, the primary feature branch. And uh, that feature branch eventually gets put into the, uh, the master branch and becomes part of the, the actual code that, that, will, that will be deployed. Um, some people don't have a separate feature branch to merge into. Uh, you know, people use different, uh, different uh, methodologies uh, to deploy code once it's been uh, merged into the developer's branch. But essentially, you know, to get a rough idea, it's, it's going to be something like this. Or sometimes people go directly from the uh, developer's branch and merge it into the, uh, the master branch and eventually gets deployed uh, through some sort of um, deployment system. Um, but pretty much that's an overview of what Gitflow, uh, how Gitflow really works. Uh, it's essentially just a way, a model, a mental model to work with Git. You know, this is obviously not part of Git out of the box. This is something that we as developers do to make our, our work a lot easier. So we keep track of what other people are doing. So we keep track of what we're doing. And that way it makes it a lot easier to develop, especially large, large uh, enterprise software. Um, if you want to get more information on, on GitFlow and other things, you could contact me directly by going below the, uh, the video. There's a link and there's a form there. You can reach out to me directly and like and subscribe and talk to you guys later. Thanks.